Hello and welcome to the transition from Collector to the Field Maps mobile app presentation. ESRI announced that they will no longer support Collector beyond the end of December 2021. Beginning January 1st of 2022, the NIFSI org will ask users to begin using Field Maps exclusively, and we will no longer support the use of Collector. Let's compare the Collector and Field Maps mobile apps. The following slides will show screenshots from an iPhone on the left and an Android device on the right. Field Maps for Android is shown in dark mode, which is also available for iOS devices. Note that it is hard to see a difference between the Collector and Field Maps web map interface. The data collection interface within the mobile apps is almost identical as well. The settings menu in both apps is very similar. However, in the Field Maps app, there are two additional options highlighted here, Markup and Share Map, that I'll go over in the next section. Let's talk about some of the new features within the Field Maps mobile app. You can now favorite a commonly used web map so it floats to the top of the web map list. When adding a new feature, recently collected feature categories, like the previously collected hotspot and gate features shown here, float to the top under the recent label. On Apple devices, recent values are available to help populate fields such as incident name, as shown here on the left. Markup is a new feature in the Field Maps mobile app available in the overflow menu. Use Markup to capture informal sketches and notes, add markers for things like the vehicle parking location or a good lunch spot to meet up with the crew. Note that no operational data should be stored here. You can share a screenshot of the markup or send markup files by email, text, or if you have an Apple device by AirDrop. Again, use markup for informal data. Do not use markup to collect or share operational data. Another new feature of Field Maps is the Share Map tool. With the Share Map function, you can send a link to the map to other users that have been added to the AGOL group already. Send the link in a text message, an email, or from an Apple device you can airdrop to others. Lastly, let's talk about updated settings that are important to set before you head out into the field. Let's set the coordinate units. To access field maps settings, first click the profile button, which is the person icon in either the upper left or upper right corner. Tap on units, then select degrees decimal minutes. This will set the coordinate units for all point features. Configure your device to either allow or not allow downloads and syncs to use your cellular data. If you select no, then your feature edits will only sync and your maps will only download over Wi-Fi. Lastly, an important feature in this app is the troubleshooting function. Although this functionality existed in Collector for iOS, Troubleshooting logs are also now available for Android devices and field maps. If you have an error downloading a map or syncing your edits, the troubleshooting logs can be very important in diagnosing the issue, but logging must first be turned on in order to capture the error. These logs can be emailed to the GIS specialist to problem solve. Pocket guides for iOS and Android devices are available in the Incident Resources Group in the NIFSI org. Also, there are several resources available online with a quick search, such as five things to try in field maps, and keep up with new functionality as it comes out quarterly in the What's New in ArcGIS field maps. If you have any questions, please email wildfireresponse at firenet.gov.